we have mathematical infinity in many forms. We have the infinite series of whole numbers and the infinite series of irrational numbers, like pi. There is also infinity between each whole number that can always be divided into ever smaller parts. If the laws of mathematics are true and linked to the laws of nature and physics, then these mathematical infinities must represent something in the physical reality of our universe. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, these mathematical infinities are formed by a continuous process at the quantum level of the atoms. Light or electromagnetic waves are continuously collapsing into photons of quantized energy, forming new waves of future probability. We feel this process as the forward passage of time that forms the geometry or curvature of space-time. It is because we can choose where and when to come in contact with the wave function, collapsing the light waves of electromagnetic radiation into quantum particles or photons, that we have free will to create our own future. The reason why we can always divide infinity into sets of infinities is because of this continuous process of the wave particle function collapsing into new quantum particles of space and time. Because of this we have a continuous expansion at the quantum level that forms the continuum of time and the geometry of space-time that can always be divided into sets of infinities. A mathematician will continuously form his own space-time geometry, just like any other object in our universe. Therefore it is only natural that he will be able to divide that geometry into infinitely smaller parts. We are all active participants in the dynamics of our universe. Life will create its own ripples in the fabric of space-time as part of an infinite process continuously forming creation. It is because this process is continuous that our number system is infinite and we have the infinite series of whole numbers. We have irrational numbers like pi because of the physical shape of the wave function is spherical and expands as an inverse sphere forming the arrow of time. In this theory the wave equation does not just predict what the wave function will be in the future, but this process represents the forward passage of time itself, photon by photon, or moment by moment. The probability of the wave function only works forward in time. We can always calculate backwards and see the position and momentum of a quantum particle in the past. This is precisely the same as our everyday experience of nature and time, moving from an unknown past into an uncertain future. Therefore Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the probability of the wave function are the same uncertainty that we have with any future event, forming an infinity of possibilities at every point in space and every moment in time. It is because this process is at the same rate that light moves that the speed of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant independent of the motion of the source. This can also explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object. It is because we are looking at a moment of pure creation of time and space. In this theory there is no universal time, because the universe is made up of, of an infinite number of reference frames that have their own proper time relative to their momentum and position. Therefore we are all in a unique position at the center of our own reference frame and can look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. When we look down into the atoms we can see time dependent quantum mechanics when the atoms bond together forming their own beauty of their own symmetry and geometry. But when we zoom in on an individual atom we find time independent quantum mechanics and there is no flow or arrow of time and all we have is the measurement problem. Each new photon can be measured either as a point in space over a period of time or as an area of space at a moment in time, but not as both. This is because the observer is always in the moment of now, collapsing the waves of light into new photons of energy that will only be relative to the wavelength of the light and the position and momentum of the observer. In this theory, at the quantum level of the atoms, the moment of now is created by a single photon-electron coupling, creating a wave function of future possibilities. 
even the individual atoms of the observer are radiating electromagnetic radiation continuously. The observer will feel this as the continuous flow of time and as the aging process. On the level of everyday objects, the observer will see an infinite number of photon electron couplings, creating a temporary image, moment by moment, or photon by photon.